ladies and gentlemen, I got myself yet another camera, which I guess is normal by now. I got myself the Sony ZV-1, which is an ultra compact camera. I got an open box at Best Buy. So many benefits of getting a open box. When you get an open box, you save money because the price goes down. So this is $775 that I pay, which is the regular price now is $750. You gotta make sure you go open the box and make sure that everything is good in there. Um, it's a brand new camera. The ZV-1 just came out I mean, recently. Like, it's just, it's fine. But you got to make sure that it's not broken or anything like that, okay? Because it's an open box. Another benefit of getting an open box is that you don't have to pay for restock if you happen to return it because it's already open. So they just can they just can can keep selling it as an open box, which is it's just so many benefits like I usually don't buy brand new gear unless it's for a business or something like that. But man, this is this is awesome. I already made sure it was fine. So this is a fake unboxing. Everything is here. Everything is nice and beautiful. So why did I decide to get this camera? I mean, I'm recording right now with a Canon M50, which is a small little camera with a kit lens. But I've been falling in love with small, compact cameras that I can just put in my pocket. And this is, this thing is just, it's just so, so small. I mean, I have, you can just put it in your pocket. And I love that. It's something that I can put in my pants, in my pocket, and um, take with me everywhere if I want to go on my bicycle, if I want to go to the gym, it's always going to be with me. I had a RX100 Mark uh, 5A, and it was a small camera, almost the same size as this one, but I don't like the flip-up screen, and it was more a photography-centric camera, which means that you um, it had an electronic viewfinder and all that. I don't care about it. I do. 80% video and 20% photos. Like, I love photos. I love strict photography. I have here, let me show you. This is my uh, Ricoh GR version two. This thing is really small as well. It's a little longer, but it's narrower. Like, it just, you can put it in your pocket. This is the perfect, um, camera for strict photography because even when you turn it on like the lens doesn't you know go further too much while when you turn on the um, Sony like the lens gets a little bit bigger but problem with this this is a specific um, camera for photography specifically for strict photography uh, and I don't want to have many different cameras and as much as I love this um, strip photography is something that I do sometimes not all the time so if I could record good videos with this and it had a flip up screen and micro and a microphone input and all that I will keep this and the version 3 is even better but the ZV-1 um, it has a flip out screen, which I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, my favorite type of, of um, screen that you can see yourself, which I just I love it. Um, another thing now has a microphone input, um, which the 5A didn't have. And you can say, well, you can record audio externally, but no, it's a hassle. Like I want to have a microphone, microphone input in the camera, so I don't have to worry about that. I was surprised. I'm not 
a big fan of the Sonic colors straight out of the camera. Yes, you can, you can always tweak the colors, but now the colors, they did something. I don't know exactly what is it, but they updated the colors straight off the camera and it just looks beautiful. I think the screen now, it looks so sharp. It looks very, very sharp. I mean, I'm gonna do videos later, later about this camera. I'm gonna do a 30 day challenge where I'm gonna do vlogs and stuff, documenting, because this camera is gonna be with me all the time. But anyways, I love this. So I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna use it every day. These, um, the reason I'm, I want a compact camera like this is because you know, it has a one inch sensor, which is a little bit smaller than a Micro Four Third camera. I love Micro Four Third cameras. Panasonic are some of my favorite cameras ever, but the autofocus is just horrible. Like it's not usable. And people say, no, but out of focus, whatever, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Out of focus is, I mean, Canon has to figure it out. Sony has to figure it out. Like, these things are amazing. Turn it on, I don't have to worry ever about it. And it brings the value up of the cameras. Like, I mean, this is, this right here, it's the G7, which, the Panasonic G7, which was my first camera, real camera, like ever, and it's beautiful. One of the best entry cameras that you can get. Great 4K and everything, but the autofocus, you know, it's it's a hassle, it's a pain in the butt, and I just don't feel comfortable about it. So, good points for this little baby right here. Um, again. I love compact cameras because they don't intimidate people. When you're taking a picture, when you're doing videos, people see, say, oh, this is a point and shoot, you know, little aficionado cam camera. But when you come with a big machine like this one, when you look at these lens and, and people is like, oh, whoa, people are just like, this guy is doing something for real. I mean, look at the difference. I can put this in my pocket and you never have to worry about lenses with this one. You know that you have a 24 to 70 equivalent here and it is what it is. You can get some, uh, a little bit of blurry background and you can use it for vlogging and you can also use it for, um, can also use it for like portraits if, if, if that's what you're looking for. But anyways, um, what else? Um, I love the stabilization that Sony is bringing, the gyro um, stabilization that is coming here. You have to use some external software and have to tweak some settings in here, but something that I'm really looking to try it out. Got V-Log. Um, v you got uh, S-Log here, which it, it's great, it's an 8-bit sensor and a 1-inch sensor, but so far, looking forward to use this camera. As a matter of fact, let's just see how it's gonna look, this headshot with this camera. And this is the CV-1, I don't know, it's my first time using it, so I need to control the exposure a little bit better, the zebras are looking. But man, even though this is a smaller sensor than the M50, the M50 is an APS-C, this is a one inch sensor. Sony sensors are just so good in low light, like so sensitive. Like I had to turn off, I had to turn down my, my light right here. Even I go down, it still looks okay because uh, it, these cameras are just so good in low light. It doesn't matter what size the sensor. But man, autofocus is on point. Uh, just like the A6600, it has eye autofocus, so it locks on my eyes. So I will never have to worry about that. The color, this is a standard profile. I'm not using um, anything fancy yet. But look forward, I'm gonna 
use this camera for professional stuff. I'm not just going to be vlogging with it. I'm going to prove that you can use this camera for whatever you want. You don't have to, but it is what it is. I think that's it for today. Expect more videos about these cameras. I cannot wait. Um, again, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go, which is a wireless over there, here. I don't have to worry. This is great. I don't have to be doing external microphone or anything like that. Well, thank you for watching. If you can save some money, get you a open box. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.